second heat of the men's 100 meters T34 features the great Tunisian Walid Tila. He's won eight gold medals at the last two world championships. Also features the Asian Games champion for the United Arab Emirates and the reigning Paralympic 800 meters champion Mohamed El Hamadi of the UAE. Silver is in the one, the two, and the eight. Bronze in the four in Doha two years ago. Khalid Hamid Al Hakri of Qatar went out in the heat of the one and the two in Doha, his home nation, two years ago. Stefan Rush, bronze in the one and the four for the Netherlands in Lyon in 2013 and the world. Wally Katila, reigning Paralympic 100 metres champion, he won the one, the two, the four, and the eight at the last two world championships. And in seventh for Switzerland, Bojan Mitic, bronze medalist in the 100 metres at the last world in Doha. And in the Europeans in Swansea 2014, silver in the one and the four, bronze in the two. It's the first three to go through, and the next two fastest losers. Al Hamadi in three, Al Hakri four, Rush five, Katila here in six, and Bojan Mitic in lane seven. Unbeatable for a long time, Wally Katila in this, but silver in the eight behind Al Hamadi in Rio. But this, a lot more is to make. <coughs> So away they go, the first time of asking the T-34, and Wally Katina is the man way out in front straight away. al Hamani coming up alongside him, out of lane three, but Wally Katina is going to win this, and he's going to win it at an absolute canter. It's very fast, he smashed the championship record set just a few months ago. 15.16 with al Hamani in second place. That sets the standard by a long way and has been rounded down to 15, 15. Wally Katila out on track on the first morning. Al Hamadi second, Mitch third, and that's the way to do it. Yeah, well, and truly, I think that was a big confidence gainer for him earlier this season. Uh, McGrath, uh, Reid McCracken could take the world record off him in the mid where he full started, so he couldn't even uh, compete against him back then. Um, I think we're going to see a really, really exciting race um, tomorrow. T34, the most powerful wheelchair category, the coordination impairment. Good speed by Katila and He's not that far off Reid McCracken's world record that was set at the Arban Grand Prix at the end of May. He's got that in his sights, certainly in the final, and another gold. Away he goes. But once they get going in the T-34s, they stay going. The T-54s have a lot of power and upper body strength. The 34s, obviously, of the coordination impairment to deal with cerebral palsy among the conditions. Catered for in the 30s. Super athlete in a class of his own when it comes to the T34s. Excellent wheelchair racer. This is Hannah Cockroft's category over in the women. Wally Katina showing he's the man to beat. But McCracken's gone very, very fast this year. It'll be a good final. Still Serbia ahead of Egypt and Bulgaria. So, championship record for Wally Katila, 15.15 seconds. Al Hamadi in second place, Bayer Mitic in third, with Stefan Roche also going through as the fastest loser.